The Majette's hockey team is fourth in the state standings. Tonight's opponent, Dickinson, well, they're still looking for its first win. So tonight's game should be a good setup for a pretty tough stretch of the upcoming Minot schedule. Jillian Ackerman has started every game in net for Minot this year. Tonight was the first chance for Promessa Phelps. Second period, Majette's Marissa Vitava behind the net. Doorstop opportunity for Macy Burke, saved by Olivia Vagan. Second chance, Vagan saved. She had 40 of those tonight. Majette's up by one. Taylin Cope shot rifles back up to the blue line. Peyton Lang buries the rebound. Vagan's 40 saves, still not enough. First career win in net for Minot's Phelps. With a win over Glenburn tonight, it looks like the Bishop Ryan boys are leading District 12. The number two spot is hotly contested between DLB, MLS, ORCS, and Surrey. The Knights and the Mustangs played in Surrey tonight. Our Redeemers in their road blues. Colton Francis ball in front of a full Surrey student section. Drives to the basket and finds Jace Weekly. Backdoor cut puts the Knights up by one at the end of the first quarter. In the second, Noah Erickson, the other senior on the Knights, rings up a three and ORCS up by four. Lucas Vollmer, Mustangs cross country star. Well, he can shoot buckets too. This three ties the game up. Now it's Logan Vollmer, tags Will Mayo inside and the six foot four senior wills a basket. Hey, shout out to Will, scored his 1,000th career point tonight. Knights work through Wyatt Weekly in the corner to Colin Swenson for three. The freshman is pure. He hit three threes tonight, and the Knights take a win back into town. Both the Minot High girls and boys teams are on two-game win streaks after losses to Century last week. The Magicians and Majettes played at Bismarck High tonight. Girls up first at the Carl Guard. Demons looking for the first bucket of the game. Katie Greff gets it in the corner. Catch and shoot three gives the Demons the lead. Majets, well, of course they're looking to answer back. Maya Aguilar running the point for Minot. Finds Lily Bell, takes a shot from the opposite corner, and the freshman gets the bucket to drop from deep. Minot takes the lead, and they wouldn't give it up all night. Here's Presley Bennett from the same spot for the Majets. Bennett hits the three, and Minot jumped out to a 20-9 lead. Let's make that three wins in a row for the Minot High Majets. Boys up for the last game of the night. Lucas McNichols pushing the pace for the Demons. He finds a cutting Jenner Smoody, cuts to his left and gets the bucket to fall. Demons lead early on. Why not hanging in there? Jager Gunville drives and kicks to Eric Wincheski, knocks down a three. Wincheski had 24 tonight, only second to Derek Desets, 28. Ross Fisher has it for the Demons. Tayshawn Eaglestaff steps out and hits the shot from beyond the arc. Gives the Demons an 11 point lead. Wincheski again, this time shares with Grayson Schaefer, Hoop, and the Harm. Magicians 12 0 run late in the second half. That's good enough for a comeback win. This afternoon, Minot State University has named the 22nd head football coach in team history. Ian Shields, most recently an offensive analyst at University of Nevada, Las Vegas, is the man tasked with turning around the one win. 10 lost Beavers of last year. Shields presented to the community last Thursday and met with the team shortly after. Director of Athletics Kevin Forty said that, quote, when he came to campus, you could feel his passion and desire to make Minot State University and the community of Minot home. Home, that's all you can ask for. And some wins. We'll be right back.